My name is Thomas Sonderman. Um, I'm Vice President of Manufacturing Technology for Global Foundries. Uh, today we're in uh, Saratoga Springs, New York in the Integration Testing and Development Center. Uh, it's our lab for uh, advanced automation technology. Uh, what you see uh, behind me is essentially uh, the environment that will be scaled up uh, into Fab 8, which is our new integrated circuit manufacturing facility that we're building here in New York. Um, there's lots of different moving parts going on inside the lab. Uh, specifically, uh, we have all the hardware related to the transport of the material itself. Uh, essentially, in a fab, you have uh, literally a thousand plus pieces of equipment uh, that are spread across over uh, a, a very large footprint, uh, uh, typically acres or football fields of, of kind of space. And uh, what you see behind me is the way we move wafers uh, across and between each of those uh, different tool sets. And so uh, within this environment we have not only all the hardware required to move the wafers uh, from one point to the other, but we have interfaces to all the tools or to a lot of the tools uh, that we'll actually uh, have in the actual manufacturing facility. Uh, behind the scenes what you don't see is all the software that's also running uh, to uh, direct the material from one operation to the next, ensuring uh, that the right wafer shows up at the right place at the right time. So there's clearly uh, a lot of interaction between the hardware and the software. Uh, a lot of the capability that we're showing here in Dresden, I mean in uh, Malta, we're taking from uh, Dresden, New York, that's running in our Fab One operations. Uh, we're also integrating new capabilities that are not in Fab One uh, in Dresden today, that will be in Fab Eight, and those are being uh, tested and validated here in this environment. So uh, just to kind of uh, kind of go around the room uh, and, and, and give you a little bit of a backdrop is we essentially have what we call a stocker over here. Uh, this is essentially where wafers get stored uh, when they're not being processed at a given operation. Uh, wafers uh, get uh, uh, kind of segmented into different parts of the wafer fabrication facility into these stockers and then the material transport sy system which is on the rails above uh, come uh, along and as you see uh, stop and essentially come pick up the wafer and take it to the next operation. Uh, in in an advanced factory like we'll have in Fab 8, uh, there's a lot of what we call direct material movement. So uh, t processing tools will go from one operation to the next without actually going to a physical stocker. And that's one of the uh, differentiating capabilities that Fab 8 will have is a much lower uh, footprint of stockers than in, are in traditional facilities. Uh, we do that through what we call zero footprint storage, under track storage, local storage, and making sure that again the right wafers are at the right place at the right time. So what are we seeing right now, Tom? So uh, essentially here we have a FOOP uh, which is being uh, loaded into uh, a stocker. Uh, the overhead transport is uh, essentially just dropped it off and uh, it'll be staged and, and be picked up by another uh, overhead transport to take it to the next operation. Yep, here's another one that's now dropping off uh, the FOOP. And again, this is replicating the type of behavior and automated decision making that would uh, go on inside a high volume manufacturing facility. So this is a uh, wafer sorter. Uh, when wafers come into this operation, we're essentially randomizing them, repositioning uh, the wafers in the various slots. Uh, this is an integral part of our yield management capabilities and allows us to uh, separate uh, certain signals within the fabrication process so that we can uh, isolate problems and ultimately resolve them uh, again when you're in a high volume manufacturing environment. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Gilbert Vigil, a Program Manager for Global Foundries, currently in charge of the ITDC here in Malta, New York. Currently what you're seeing here is uh, our ITDC lab uh, with approximately 150 meters of track in uh, SRC 320 and SR 3350. 
Uh, we use this lab every day to test everything from hardware to software components that will be used in any of our fabs currently. Um, it's a, a great test facility and provides lots of interface for our software and hardware individuals. We're here at the uh, ITDC Integration Test Design Development Center in Malta, New York. And currently what you're looking at here is uh, what we call our DEEP tool. This tool is capable of storing up to 100 wafers and we can use it to simulate uh, litho cells or diffusion furnaces. And this provides us a test bed and makes it very versatile for the software and hardware engineers to do testing in this facility. Here on the back is what we uh, have is stored about, uh, these are 25 wafer foops. We have four of them, which gives us our 100 wafer depth capacity. These foops are never removed. They're just here for storage. Uh, they actually mimic uh, the actual process cells within a diffusion furnace or a litho cell. On the front side over here, we have where we deliver to. Uh, these are called uh, load ports, uh, starting from left to right port one, port two, port three. We just had a, a 25 wafer foot uh, delivered. It will be docked, it'll be loaded, uh, it'll be mapped, and then the wafers will be processed into the system. And of course, this is all under uh, simulation, so there's no processing. And that's the beauty of the ITDC is we don't have any processing. It's all uh, simulated, so it gives us the versatility to bring even more tools in and do everything that we need to do here without a large, large footprint. So this is a uh, metrology tool, uh, which essentially is how we measure the characteristics that are being um, uh, put on the wafer itself through the wafer fabrication technology. Uh, essentially what is going on in this tool is, is mimicking the material transport, our material handling behavior, as well as uh, mimicking all the data transport uh, that occurs as that measurement uh, is being made. And so uh, this ties into the software side, the automated decision making side. Uh, as we bring a uh, wafer into a metrology tool, we're obviously taking measurements. Those measurements are being uh, processed through our APM framework and determining what corrections need to be made to the wafer as it moves on to its next uh, manufacturing step. So this is a, a front-end uh, interface to an actual processing tool and again as we discussed uh, you're doing metrology measurements as the wafers leave these types of processing tools and at each of these tools we have an emulator that is uh, mimicking the data transport that occurs as the wafers uh, again move from one uh, processing step to the next. And this allows us to validate uh, not only the material handling aspects, again, of, of each of the tools, but also the data transport mechanisms, ensuring that all the right data feeds are being uh, put in the right formats, the right uh, partitioning of the information, and enabling us to do our very sophisticated automated decision-making um, solutions that essentially ensure that not only does the wafer arrive at the right spot, but that it's processed exactly as we intended. Uh, as the wafers leave this operation, again, they will uh, move on to another processing step or be positioned in one of the stockers. So currently what you're viewing here is the uh, SRC320. This uh, is a development project that we're currently working on uh, in, with uh, Dresden. Uh, they have uh, a fab, two fabs, one uh, with a newer system, SRC3, uh, 350, and then an older system with an SRC 320, which you're seeing right now currently. This conveyor provides a connection point for the 320 and the 350 so that we can merge the two fabs together to be able to pro uh, process wafers through the two fabs. Right now you're seeing a 350 vehicle coming to pick up the vehicle that was dropped off by the uh, SRC 320. Uh, 
Uh, my name is Tom Sonderman, representing uh, Global Foundries here in our Integrated Testing and Development uh, Center. This is a glimpse into the kinds of capabilities that uh, will be uh, manifested and scaled up uh, to uh, mega fab kind of levels as Fab 8 becomes a reality here in upstate New York. And thank you again for uh, visiting our lab.